Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Marco, I'm an Ateneo BS Biology graduate and in this video, I will be showing you guys a couple tips on how you can use Notion better. I saw an Ateneo org, I think it's the school, I forgot, but I saw that they were showing that, you know what, Notion is free with your OBF email. I've said it countless of times, Notion is one of the best productivity apps that I've ever tried. It is one of those that stick and I sort of can't live without nowadays. So hopefully this gives you guys a view on what the potential of Notion can be. But before I transfer over to the computer to show you guys the tips that I planned, I want to show you a brief overview of how you can start using Notion. I think it's very daunting just by the sheer amount of features and possibilities there is. It can be daunting, but I have a few prompts. I have a few questions that you can ask yourself so that you can start organizing yourself in Notion. First question on the list is, what are your commitments in life? So these commitments are going to be the main pages in your Notion. If I may use myself as an example, I have four commitments. I have YouTube, school, some personal stuff that I just want to track, and my resonance calendar. So that will dictate the overall flow of my Notion. So everything related to my YouTube life is going to go under YouTube. Anything related to school will go to ASMPH or ADMU. Anything related to just stuff I want to track, personal, and then anything that resonates with me as a person, as a student, goes under resonance calendar. Going deeper into this question, you can further ask, what are aspects of this commitment? If I may use myself as an example again, under my Ateneo Notion page, I have two aspects that I wanted to track. My academic life and my org work. Going further down the rabbit hole of the Ateneo page, I wanted to track each subject there is. So that's why I made a drop down for every semester. I added the table and then in that table, each subject that semester has its own page. And then you get to further go into it again by asking yourself, what do you want to track in that specific item? For each subject, I wanted to track the syllabus and how I've progressed with each subject on that syllabus. So I made the table and I listed all of the subjects there. And then eventually I wanted to also track whether I've been studying it or not. So hopefully that gives you a brief overview of how you can start Notion. I know it can be daunting. It is a pretty big app. So hopefully that gives you some sort of framework because that is my personal framework when it comes to using Notion. Okay, let's transfer over to the computer. Okay, now we're at the computer. I hope future Marco edited in the computer to my left. So in this part of the video, I want to give you guys a few tips or a few explanations to a couple features that I think a lot of people miss out. And honestly, I think the features are really useful because I use them every time. So the first feature or first tip I have is to use different views for different tables. This is very important, especially if you want to maximize the tables that you made. The best example I can give is on my YouTube page. So I have a table for all my video ideas and also I have a table for when I release them. So this view is called the Kanban view, I want to say. So you can change the view if you go to the table, you can go to here, right beside the name, click on it, add a view, and then you can just choose whether you want a table, a board, calendar, list, or a gallery. Personally, I use the Kanban view because I think it's the more convenient one for me. You can also use a calendar separately. So yeah, try out using it depending on the table you have because it is pretty useful. Second tip for you is to use properties within the tables you have. So let me use my draft videos category. I'll just reveal a couple videos here on the med school page, I guess. Normally, the Kanban board view is like this. It only shows you one specific type of property, which is for me, the category of my video idea. I want to save space. I don't want to have to keep switching from the category to the status to check the status of my videos. So what do I do? I add a property to it. This is pretty easy. Just go to the top right part of the table, click the three dots, go to properties, and then click the property that you want to show. It can be any of these things, but personally, I just want to see the status already. So when I click status, it's going to show whether I'm writing it, I've listed it, or it's indefinite. Third tip I want to give is something called a template button. Now, I'm a very lazy person that masks himself with the guise of being efficient. So I really love the fact that there is something called a template button because the constant thing with my YouTube page is that I always have ideas. 
and I always want each page to be the same. All I have to do is to write in the details that I need. So all I have to do is click the new video idea. It's gonna pull up a template that I have prepared beforehand and then bam, all I have to do is fill this page up. Okay, so for example, this is a new line. You can just put the slash for commands, template button, then bam, you have a new template button. You can rename it to anything you want. You can say new video idea, new notes, new lecture, whatever, your choice. And all you have to do is to drag a template page onto the template part of the Notion. So for example, I wanted to use video idea template. So I'm gonna just transfer it over there. And now every time I press add a new to do, it's gonna give me another video idea template. Same exact thing. Next tip I have is something I only found out fairly recently and that's called breadcrumbs. This one on top of video meta is called the breadcrumb. So it basically shows you at what part of the page it is in. It is in. So for example, the video idea template, it's already under the big page called YouTube. I'll give you a better example. Let's use this video idea. The tips to use Notion is under the content calendar. The content calendar is under YouTube. So it gives you the whole flow of that page already. And honestly, I think it's pretty useful if you get lost within the weeds. Shout out Dr. Keith. Just so you have an idea on where it fits in to your whole system. Last tip I can give is something called the turn into feature. This has saved me a lot of time. So normally the way you format text is by pressing the slash, having to use your mouse and click heading two. And if I wanted to change this, I can use this, click, turn into, and then heading three. Now that already took what, around 10 seconds. But if I just wanted to specifically format one line, what I can do is slash, type some sort of resemblance to what I want to make it. So heading three, let's use H3 again. And now I can just press down and press enter and it made it H3. So if in real time, if I wanted to be like, Oh, H2, script. Oh no, I want to make it H3, slash, H3, down, enter. See, save me a lot of minutes. Those are pretty much the tips and features I think will be useful to you as you start using Notion. Now that view is from someone who has been using it for quite some time now. So I wanna give the floor to one of my Payamid friends, Rose Nunez. She has been using Notion quite frequently now, I think I wanna say. I wanna say I influence her also. Influencer vibes. Admittedly, she is a beginner. She started fairly recently only. So I asked her if she can give fellow beginners to Notion one simple tip to help you guys out. So yeah, Rose, take it away. It's Rose Nunez, by the way. Yeah, boy, Marco Malilin asked me to share one Notion tip I found really helpful that he can share to you guys after what a few weeks of using Notion. Honestly, that this tip that I'll share to you came from him, so I have to credit him for teaching me his tips and tricks on using Notion and for introducing the app in the first place. Before even starting a Notion board or page or whatever you call that, make sure that you know your intentions are for using the app. So you know how you want to see your Notion page because honestly, it's really difficult to get used to the interface of Notion. Like sabi nga ni Marco sa akin, it has a steep learning curve. So my tip is organize your files according to genre. So right now, I'm using Notion to organize my vlog ideas for YouTube. And so far, Notion has made it more easy for me to organize my vlog ideas because as of now, my channel has no ongoing theme. But after using Notion, must organize na siya. For example, you can see here sa genre na part, you can actually add different genres. So yan, I have four different genres. Collab, med, personal, and travel. There. And also, I added a status. It's either uploaded in progress or to edit. So that when I use the genre view, I can see that these are all the views at the moment. And the progress is, yeah, uploaded progress and to edit. So, yun. I hope this vlog would somehow make it uh, 
easier for you guys to digest. All right, thank you so much, Rose. Hopefully that helped you guys out. I'm pretty sure it helped me out. Okay, question for the video. I wanna know for, real, for Notion reasons. What is one commitment you have that you wanna track through Notion? Let's get Notion to sponsor me. Let's see if they do at the end of the year. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I really do hope this helped you out. If you do have any questions about Notion, you can always comment it down below. I am willing to help out. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. And if you want to subscribe pretty quickly, subscribe button here. Next video is up there and down there. Hopefully, I see you guys in my next video. Peace. A A. Yeah.